What's up guys, it's Nunad, your Universal Champion on YouTube. And I know I said I was going to do this video on Saturday, but I meant to say Monday. Because today I'm going to do my top 10 superstars of the week. And this is from SummerSlam to yesterday. Yeah, to yesterday. So, it's that SummerSlam week. It's that SummerSlam weekend and last week of um, Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. So first, at the number 10 slot, we have Dean Ambrose. I picked Dean Ambrose as number 10 because he really just came back, but he did pick up a win over Dolph Ziggler, and he helped um, Seth Rollins become the new Intercontinental Champion. Next up, we have the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. We have Charlotte Flair. And I picked Charlotte Flair because because she is the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion, but she wasn't hired because I didn't think she deserved to win the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Next up, we have the new Intercontinental Champion, um, Seth Rollins, and I picked Seth Rollins to be to be in the number eight slot because he did win the. Intercontinental Championship, but he also needed help to win the Intercontinental Championship and because he did not have a match this week on Raw. Next, I picked for the number 7 slot, I picked The Miz. I picked The Miz number 7 mostly because he did cheat to win against Daniel Bryan and he did not have a match this week. On SmackDown, so that's why I didn't pick him in a higher slot. Next up in the number six slot, we have Samoa Joe. I picked Samoa Joe in the number six slot because he did win that match against AJ Styles at SummerSlam, and he really was doing good in that match until AJ Styles cost a DQ. And if you guys didn't know, he has a rematch at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Championship. Next up in the number five slot, I pick Brock Lesnar. I pick Brock because he did lose his um, Universal Championship. And he hasn't really done anything in a really long time. So that's why he wasn't higher on the list. So that's why he took the number five slot. Next up in the number four slot, we have Braun Strowman. I picked Braun Strowman in the number five slot because he did try to cash in twice. And he didn't successfully cash in that championship. Um, I mean, he didn't really successfully cash in the money in the bank. And he got beat up by the Shield. Um on Monday Night Raw, and so that's why I picked him at the number four slot. And he was over, and he was over, um, Brock Lesnar only because he won his match at SummerSlam, which Brock Lesnar didn't, of course. Next up at the number three slot, we have AJ Styles. I picked AJ Styles at the number three slot. Mostly because he did lose at SummerSlam, but he has been phenomenal as champion. And so that's why he got the number three slot in this list. And maybe we could see him, maybe he would, will win at, um, maybe he will win at Hell in a Cell. And maybe he'll hold the championship for a year, but I think he won it in December of last year. So I do not know if he'll hold it that long. Next up, we have the new Raw Women's Champion, Rowdy, Ronda Rousey. I pick Ronda Rousey at the number two slot, mostly because she has done, she has done amazing since coming to WWE, and she is the new Raw Women's Champion, and because she put Stephanie in an arm lock. I don't know why she put Stephanie in an arm lock. That was really uncalled for. But that's why she is at the number two slot. And before we get to the number one slot, I'm going to do some honorable mentions. So, 
These are in no particular order, but the honorable mentions are Dolph, because he did lose his match this Monday on Raw, and he did lose his Intercontinental Championship. B-Team, because they did win the, um... They did win the tag team champ. They did successfully retain their tag team championships, but they lost their matches this week on Raw. The Riot Squad because they have won. They won against um, Ember, Bailey, and Sasha, but they didn't get a good enough rating to be on the top ten. Becky for the heel turn and beating up Charlotte this week on SmackDown, and she didn't get on the list because she did not win the championship. And we have Finn, the Demon Finn. I almost put him on the list, but he did not. He, but he did not have like a high enough rating. Um, he did not have a high enough rating for me to be on the top ten list. And so that's those are my five honorable mentions. And now we get to the number one slot. We have the reigning defending, not undisputed. The reigning defending. Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. I put Roman Reigns number one because, of course, he beat the reigning, defending, undisputed champion. Well, former undisputed champion, Brock Lesnar. And because he won his match this Monday against Finn Balor. And he is still Universal Champion. And ladies and gentlemen, that is my list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, tune in on the USA Network at 8 o'clock. PM Eastern Time to see Monday Night Raw and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen tonight. That's my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Remember like, comment, and subscribe. I am your Universal Champion Nivenon and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.